Welcome. In the following video, we will walk you through the process of registering as an individual dancer who would like to be affiliated with a school for Youth America Grand Prix Regional Semifinal Competitions. Before we begin, please be sure you are completing your YGP registration on a desktop computer. YAGP functions are not compatible with mobile devices or tablets. The steps in this tutorial will allow you to set up an individual dancer account correctly. To link an individual dancer account to a studio account, the school must have already created a studio school account. For more information on how to create a studio school account, please visit our website. If you are participating in an ensemble routine, the school must register you under their studio school account. Once the school has created their own studio school account, the next step before creating an individual dancer account is to obtain the 36 digit code located on the school's account dashboard. Students will need to contact his or her school directly. YGP does not have access to these codes and will not be able to provide them for you. If your school has not created a studio school account and you do not obtain the code prior to setting up your individual dancer account registration, YGP will not be able to link the accounts at a later time. Bypassing this step will require you to delete your registration and re-register with the studio code. This may result in you losing your spot in the competition and having to be put on a wait list. In other words, please be sure that if you wish to be linked to the school's account, your school has already created a studio school account and provided you with the 36 digit code before you begin this process. It is also important to remember that once you link your individual dancer account to the school, all correspondence will be sent to the school's email address. This allows only the school to see what the dancer is registered for, but the school will not be able to make adjustments or add entries for that dancer. Only the owner of the individual dancer account will be able to do this. Alternatively, if you wish to continue receiving all correspondence and not physically link your individual dancer account to the studio school account, you are welcome to bypass the screen that will ask you to enter the code. If you choose to bypass entering this 36 digit code, you are still able to update your dancer's studio affiliation so that it will be printed correctly in the program by updating the account owner name. However, this is not possible if your dancer is participating in an ensemble. If your dancer is participating in an ensemble routine, the school will need to create the registration for your dancer. To navigate directly to the registration site, please type yagp.dancecompgenie.com into your URL. You may also redirect to this page by first visiting our website and selecting registration. To create your account, please select the link that reads individual dancer account or individual dancer that belongs to a school account. You will be redirected to the Dance Comp Genie account creation portal where you will create your account login information and account owner information. Be careful to list all the information correctly, especially your email address, or you will not receive any correspondence from YGP. I would also recommend taking note of the password you select and the security question. Once all required fields are completed, please click confirm and create my Dance Comp Genie Passport account. You have now logged into your Dance Comp Genie account and are ready to register for a YGP regional semifinal location. It is very important to list your account owner name in the following format, full name of your school slash full name of your dancer. At this point, you're going to want to return to the dashboard and select add new registration. A pop-up will then appear and ask if you are registering as a dancer affiliated with a school. If you are planning on linking your account to the school studio account, this is where you will copy and paste the 36 digit code the school has provided to you. Again, students will need to contact his or her school directly. YGP does not have access to these codes. We highly recommend copying and pasting the exact code to avoid errors. If your school has not created a studio or school account, and you do not obtain the code prior to setting up your individual dancer account, YGP will not be able to link the accounts at a later time. Once you have linked your account to the school's account, all future correspondence will also go directly to the school. 
If you have decided not to link your registration to the school and will not be performing in an ensemble, please simply select continue. You will first select your preferred regional location from the drop down menu. Click on the add dancers button and add your dancers information. It is important to accurately insert all required fields, especially your dancers date of birth and email address. This is the email that the release waiver will be sent to. This must be completed in order to pay the minimum payment of $95 per dancer per location and in order to reserve your spot in the competition. This $95 is non-refundable. Once you have completed entering your dancer's information, please select add. You will then see your dancer's name in the performing dancers box, which is where you would like to see it. Finally, you will want to click start to add or modify entries. Please take note that on this page, you will be able to see the location you are registering for. You will then want to select entry type and select add new. Be sure to complete all required fields in association with each entry type you are adding. If at this point you have not decided the name or title of your dancer's entry, you may select TBD and update this information at a later date. Please be aware that routine titles must be updated no later than two weeks prior to the first competition day. Entries still listed as TBD two weeks prior to the competition will acquire a $5 late fee per entry. For more information on time limits, and late fees, please visit our website and read our rules and regulations thoroughly. When entering the teacher field, you will want to include all teachers, studio directors, choreographers who wish to be listed in the program. If you do not put the studio director's name into one of the teacher columns, even if they may not be your teacher, they won't be listed in the program to continue adding entries, please select save and add new entry. You must enter all entries you are planning to perform at the competition. If you register your dancer for only one routine and decide to add a second routine later and the city is already filled, an additional entry would have to then be placed on the wait list. Once you have registered all entries, please select save entry. Before moving on to the next screen, please check everything you have registered for accuracy. At this point, you will select check out and see a full breakdown of the routines you have registered and your total balance. The minimum payment in order to reserve your dancer's spot is $95 per dancer per location. Additionally, you must register all entries you are planning to perform at the competition. Although only the $95 registration fee is initially due upon registration, you must still manually enter each routine into the system. Example number one, if you register your dancer for one classical solo, pay the minimum 95 registration fee and decide later to add a contemporary solo once the city is filled, the additional entry will have to be placed on a wait list. Example two, if you register your dancer for three solos without proceeding to pay the 95, your routines will automatically be removed from the system and your spot will not be held. You will now select proceed to payment. At this point, you will be notified that your dancer's waiver must be completed in order to proceed to payment. Do not stop here. If you ignore this notification and do not complete the waiver immediately and pay the 95 minimum registration fee, your registration will be removed. What you will need to do in order to complete the waiver is select OK, then click on the blue Dancers tab located in between Dashboard and My Account. On the Dancers page, you will see a table of all registered dancers on this account. Within the table, there will be a column titled Send Waiver. Make sure the email address is correct and click Send. Go to your inbox of the email address listed in association with your dancer, open your YAGP release agreement email, and follow the link to complete the waiver form. Double check your dancer's information is correct and click continue. Enter the name of the dancer and their age. Scroll to the bottom after reading through the release waiver and for dancers younger than 18, parent or guardian should sign their name in this bottom field Dancers 18 and older may sign their own names. 
Simply add the date and click Finish and Submit. Once you see the waiver has been submitted successfully, navigate back to your dashboard, select Dancers, and again, confirm that next to your dancer's name in the waiver column reads complete. You may now go back to the dashboard and select make payment. Again, $95 per dancer per location is required to secure your spot for the number of entries you have registered. The remaining balance is due no later than 30 days prior to the first competition day. Any outstanding balance after this deadline will acquire a $5 late fee per entry. The two payment options offered are by check. If you choose this method, you will also have to include information such as the check number and mail it to the address listed. If you choose to pay with PayPal, you do not have to have a PayPal account. You may simply enter in your debit credit card information and complete payment this method. Thank you for watching this tutorial and we look forward to seeing you this season.